Well, that thing was cool. Yep. What it do, y'all? It's your man, <laughs> the gaming savant. Back at y'all with another episode, the broken controller of my blog series, where I take various topics and aspects of gaming, break them down, give my opinions, and ask you guys what do you think of the topic I'm talking about today. And today, we'll probably be talking about one of the most age old questions, topics, whatever you can have in today's modern gaming society. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is a gamer? Now, when I think of the word gamer, here's what I think of. I think of somebody who stays up till 4 or 5 a.m. almost every night playing their video game of choice. I think of somebody who goes to midnight releases when games come out. I think of somebody who stays at home on Friday nights and Saturday nights and plays video games instead of going out to the club. I think of somebody that growing up, mainly because I'm a 90s baby, that every time that they went to the grocery store or they went to Walgreens or something, they asked their parents if they could buy them them uh, uh, Nintendo Power or Game Pro or some a video game magazine. Now that's what I think of a gamer. Now in today's 2015 society, video gaming has become very mainstream. So the game, the word gamer has become skewed a little bit and maybe in my opinion a little bit watered down. Now I did some research because we were trying to do something for the company and I came across this glaring stat. Uh, something along the lines that gaming has increased by like 62% since 2009. Now, what they didn't put, and what I later read in the article, is that that accounts for mobile gaming. Now, here's my thing on mobile gaming. I have no problem with mobile gaming. Me personally, I just think that it's very difficult to get the gaming experience that you would get from a PS4, a Xbox, your PC, on your cell phone or your tablet. It's like, I would not play Madden or The Witcher 3 on my cell phone. And they have these little controller peripherals that you can buy for your phone, but it still takes away from the immersion. It's like, it's a small five inch screen with speakers that are crap when I could play on my 42 inch TV in surround sound with a very good wireless controller. It's like that and that. Also, Facebook gaming. <laughs> Oh boy, this one's gonna catch a lot of flack. If you play Farmville or Mafia Wars like once a day, you're not a gamer. I'm sorry. That's I can't consider that gaming because it's like it's flash games. It's like games to pass the time. Like when they all the whole Facebook game craze took over, like maybe in the late 2000s, early 2010. It's like that, that's not a gamer. That's not somebody that'll freaking stay up till 5 a.m. just to beat a boss. It's somebody freaking planting virtual plants. It's like playing freaking uh, Animal Crossing on the computer. And don't get me started on Animal Crossing. I have a whole bunch of spit. Tom Nook, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for Facebook gaming. I don't consider that gaming. Like I said, my, my version, my vision of a gamer is somebody who has a whole, not even a whole bunch of console that owns one of the major consoles or owns a high-end gaming PC. Somebody that just plays games just to play it, not because it's mainstream or not because it's the end thing to do. Like when Call of Duty started getting real popular, you saw a lot of people that didn't necessarily play games start playing Call of Duty. Oh, hey, it's a world, it's a war game in the future. Hey, I look cool with a controller. It's like, no, dude, stop, just stop. We can, we can tell. Like, like skateboarders and they can tell posers, we can tell you're a poser. And your posing is horrible. Like you're not even doing it right. You, know, you don't got the hunch in your back. You don't got the calisthenics on your hand. The arthritis setting in at the age of 26. It's like gaming wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It technically wasn't cool to be a gamer. Like I used to talk to my friends about, hey man, I just got past, I just got the 20 star on Super Mario, or man, I just got past the Water Temple on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You know, that's what we would do. That's what we like to do. And you know, most people are like, oh man, you at home playing N64, lame stuff like that. But you know, nowadays you'd be like, oh hey, I'm a gamer. Oh, all right, what, what do you play? Oh, I play Call of Duty, Madden. You know, just a general stuff. Oh man, you ever heard of Streets of Rage 2 or Castlevania Symphony of the Night? I have no idea what that stuff is. Stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, I've already lost hope in this young generation in humanity, so why should I even care who's a gamer and who's not? You know, it's not my place to. You need to regulate that. My question to you guys today, what is your definition of a gamer? Please leave some comments below. Let me know. You know, I like the interactivity with the mod. 
I wasn't even going to try to rhyme that. I want to thank y'all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Got more videos coming out soon. Also, I know I'm wearing the same shirt from my last broken controller. I recorded it the day after, and I didn't feel like ironing today. So, video editing magic. Something was supposed to happen, but it didn't. It may happen. Let me see. No. Okay. It's your man, Mike Titan. And I'm out this piece. Gone. See, last time, y'all know I did the gun thing, but this time I'm just gonna point and go that direction. I gotta find a way to do an outro. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be like, gone, you know, throw up a gang sign or something. I'll figure something out. I'm still, you know, I'm still working on this. Just give me time, but gone.